What's up guys, my name is Khan and we're back today with more Crash Lander Survival and today we're going to build a vehicle and deliver our crates to Bill. Apparently, according to you guys in the comments, you can only have one main quest and one side quest active at a time and so uh, we gotta deliver these crates to Bill before we can get more side quests from these guys. You guys are saying this unknown keycard might be for the piping room floors or for the elevators. So let's just take a look. Um, not for the elevators, okay. And apparently a bunch of you were saying I missed a door in the piping room that we had walked by. We're just going to take a look real quick and then we're going to of course wander all the way back to base. Build ourselves a car. Is this the room? That is the door. You guys are 100% correct. Amazing. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. We missed this. Wouldn't have gotten back. Okay, what else? Is, is there anything in here? There's a computer. Can't pick up the... Oh, there's a chest. Oh, hello, jackpot. That is a lot of free stuff. That, oh my, what is this? What is that? I don't, I don't know what that is. This is, oh my god, parts of a shotgun? Okay, we need to get rid of some stuff. Um, walk me, we can get. No problem. Yeah, we're gonna take that back. Water. I feel like this scrap seat, we do not need the scrap seat. Like, honestly, I think we can just leave the scrap seat here. We're gonna bring back the bronco. What is this? It's like some weird it looks like honestly bacon on a on a on a wooden plate i don't know what it's supposed to be i'm gonna eat it okay it, oh now i just have a wooden plate oh my god there's actual like plate mechanics in this game okay that's that's cool let's head back now to base build ourselves a car and then we're gonna come back here and bring bill his crates and then i guess just see what the next quests are we have to tell bill about his friends anyway so Bill's probably just going to tell us to, you know, I don't know, get him some, like, copper ore or something. I don't know. Bill's got weird requests. I'm not really sure if anybody knows what's going on. They seem to have all been left here on purpose. Like, the whole company abandoned the planet and left only these four behind. I think there's a reason. Okay, it just took all day to sprint across the world. Don't worry, Bill. I'm all jacked up on milk. I got news about your friends. It's good stuff. You're going to be really excited, Bill. You're going to be really excited to know that your friends that stayed at the company when you left are still at the company and don't have, uh, have not come out to check on you. So, you know, they're, they're, they're great friends. Well, well, look who it is. Took your sweet time at the HQ, didn't you? Dude, it's across the freaking planet. Leave me alone. I don't have a car and I had to walk there. You could also have brought the crates with you. No, I literally, I literally could not have Bill. Did you tell them where I live? No, I didn't, but they wanted to see you and asked me if you could come to the HQ. Great, so I'll go see them when I'm free. I have quite a lot of stuff to do right now. Okay. All right, well, we don't have a main quest, so I guess we can scan. Although I, I do have to do the side quest. I have to bring Bill the crates, so we do need to build a vehicle no matter what. Scan complete. Nothing on the scan. Interesting. So I might have to might have to bring Bill those crates. So let's start building a car, I guess. We got one large wheel already, and of course we've got an engine, so I can pull that out. Um, you know, we got that engine from right outside the uh, the HQ when we first showed up there a couple episodes ago, so that's good. Uh, I'm gonna ditch the wolf head because I'm already wearing one. I don't need another, and uh, we're gonna we don't need these engine exhaust components. I don't. I'm gonna ditch the scrap wheels. We're honestly not gonna make them. We got this wheel rim component. So to make more of these large wheels, I think we need more wheel rim components. I need two per wheel and three wheel tire components. Tire components are beeswax and plastic. Okay, what do we need for plastic? Oh, that's not in here. Interesting. Do you make wheel rim components in here? Wheel rim, you do. I need six screws. No problem. I can build a bunch of screws. So that's six. That makes one, two. I need more metal one as well. Uh, okay, that's not here. Chemistry, this makes plastic. We need oil for plastic. Do I have any excess oil? And we need chemicals as well. Oil and chemicals, there we go. Alright, let's just ditch some of this stuff that we're not going to use. Paint, we're not going to use. I, I don't know what to use this plate for. It was weird, we like ate jerky off a plate or something, and I have no idea what else is for. Scrap seat. I guess we could actually, we could use this for the car. Um, because I think that it'll hook up to... Two bearings and, a, and an engine, which is all we need to start. We can keep that seat as well, though we won't really have passengers. Uh, okay, so let's craft some plastic. That's all we can make. That's not a lot. Hopefully it's enough. I don't know where to get chemical. Wait, no, we can make chemicals, right? Yeah, we make chemicals. Oh, we make chemicals from corn and pigment flour. Okay, that's easy enough. Pretty sure I actually got a bunch of corn and pigment flour. I did. Yeah, so there we go. So we're going to make some chemicals. This is just like the crafting hour now. We got to... 
build a bunch of stuff to make sure our vehicle's going good. All right, so we'll collect these. We'll make more wheel rim components. Somewhere, there's so many layers of crafting in this mod. It's really, really cool, but there are a lot of layers of crafting. All right, we gotta make, we see, we gotta make a bunch of metal. All right, so that's fine. Uh, and then we need to gather all this honeycomb. I don't know how much we're gonna actually have. But I think I can trade for honeycomb. Oh, inventory full. Oh, shoot. Shoot. Okay, uh, we need to, we need to start getting rid of some stuff. You know what? I'm gonna eat some burgers. I know it's not great. They're like full health things, but... Just, they just take up a lot of space. Okay, perfect. Gonna make ourselves some wheels. It's gonna be a lot of work, I just realized, to get four tires. Like, four of these large wheels? That's gonna be a fair amount of effort. I might have to go grind some materials and then come back when I have four of these large wheels. But my plan is to just slap four of these large wheels, upgrade this engine a bit. Which, there we go, it's level three. That should be good enough. And then we're just gonna slap four large wheels on it and drive around with, like, this platform. And maybe put some metal around the outside of this brick, because metal's got a higher durability than brick, and call it a day. And we'll try and, like, jam all the workbenches together a little bit more. We're gonna rebuild this platform, but that's the plan. Um, unfortunately, I don't think I'm gonna have enough materials to do this. Wait, I only have one wheel rim? Yeah, so collect these. Okay, can I collect all this metal? Perfect. Make another wheel rim. Can make another two wheel rims. Craft more bolts. Oh my god. Okay, collect more chemicals. Can't make more of that without pigment flour. That's fine. Make more plastic. Need more oil. Let's go just get some of that. Can I make a large tire yet? I can. One large wheel. Wait, large wheel times two. Oh, that makes two large wheels. Am I gonna have an extra large wheel? I guess I'm gonna have an extra large wheel. Or we're gonna have, like, you know, a trike. Oh, that's actually not as bad then. I thought this only made one large wheel. The fact that it makes two large wheels, that's... That's actually... That's really, really good. Are these... These are the right size? These are the right size. Oh, that's actually wicked. Okay, well, we're gonna have five wheels, I guess. Because we got one at the... At the HQ when we first showed up. This is actually sick. Okay, this is not nearly as bad as I thought it was gonna be. I thought this was way worse. Never mind. I need really need, like, actually read stuff. Yeah, large wheel, flotation, wait, what? There's flotation wheels? Do they float? Do they, does it float? It probably floats. Yo, we can make an amphibious vehicle, but can float. Oh man, it's got max buoyancy. Oh man, how do you power a boat in this? Are there thrusters? Vacuum extractor pipe, extracts them and makes them go to the other. Vacuum filter pipe, okay. Interesting, I don't have these two recipes unlocked yet, whatever these are. Hmm. No, and I don't have these radar dishes unlocked either, or the craft bot unlocked. I actually don't have a lot of the recipes unlocked. Okay, I got some of them. Oh man. Oh, that's so cool. There's floating wheels. We're not gonna we're not gonna do that now. We're just gonna make large wheels, but still, that is that is wicked cool. Okay, we have bearings for days. I actually overproduce like crazy. Um, yeah, we got tons of stuff. That's cool. Oh, sick, there are propellers. Look at that. Big propeller and regular propeller. Well, that's awesome. We could just make an amphibious car and have a propeller that spins in the water and just drive straight into the water and drive right out. Yeah, that's... I still want to live, like, a kind of a nomadic lifestyle in this game, but... Oh, an empty crate? What is that for? Oh, it's a storage. It's a 20-slot storage. Well, that's interesting. But yeah, I do want to live a nomadic lifestyle, but we're definitely going to have to have an automatic farm somewhere. Maybe we would just put the automatic farm near Bills. But we need a big automatic farm with lots of defenses that can grow just big fields of crops. Because Bill trades a lot of good stuff for crops. And, uh, you know, I don't want to have to waste my time growing only a small amount of crops at a time. We want to grow, like, you know, those big hundred, hundred crops at a time. So we actually have a, a fair amount of material to trade with. Just gonna build these last two little bits of metal one. Uh, and then I'm out of coal. So that's that's pretty much that. We got all our stuff in storage. But yeah, metal one is the strongest material we have. So we're just gonna try and build like a platform with the metal one around the outside. And attach all the wheels with that. Hopefully that's strong enough. Is a durability of five? I don't honestly know what we need to protect ourselves from the wolves. But, uh, yeah, we're just gonna start by deleting this, getting back as much metal one as we can, 
And, uh, and then we're gonna whip together ourselves a wonderful vehicle. What is that block? Oh, that's raw metal. Okay, no problem. Perfect. Just like that. Wonderful. Let's just, uh, yeah, use as much of this metal as we can. It's kind of like an outline of a frame. And then we'll fill in the middle part with, I guess we can do it with wood. I should go talk to Bill's friends again. It's been some time since I last talked to them. Yeah, well, I've been trying to build a car, okay? We gotta go places. Let's put a seat right in the middle. Let's put an engine right up front. Why not? We're just gonna make this as symmetrical as possible. I think this can do everything we need. Perfect. And we can wire this engine up to all of those. Okay, that's awesome. This is going to be great. I think this should be plenty quick. Uh, we had some gas in here. Let's grab our chests, actually. I'm going to slap both of these just down right on either side of the seat. Something like this. There we go. Build them a little bit back. Trying to protect it, but honestly, I don't think the wolves are going to be able to break Metal 1. Maybe they can, but I think we can just drive away faster. There we go. Perfect. Got all our storage. We can have a spare tire as well, which in survival, this actually kind of matters because if you're driving and a wolf attacks your tire... Actually, what's the durability on tires? That's a good question. Five. Okay, so it's the same likelihood they'll break a tire as they'll break uh, the metal structure. Set that respawn point. Perfect. All right. Nice little truck. And uh, I don't know if we need the floppy disk computer yet, so we'll just put that away for now because until we get another floppy disk... I don't really see what we need it for. And then I'll use the rest of this brick just kind of out the back here to kind of give us an extra little bit of a buffer in case, you know, we get attacked by something. I, I don't know. Might as well. It's, I honestly think this is going to be going to be totally fine. All right. Gathered 45 oil. Uh, chemistry bench is this one. How much gas do I make for 45 oil? Oh, it's in groups of eight. Okay. Interesting. It makes seven for eight. So I got five groups of seven. So I'll make 35 gas. That should probably be enough, right? Like, level 3 engine, so it's going to be relatively efficient. I don't have... I have six component kits left. No more component kits in here. Yeah, it'll, it'll probably be enough. I mean, worst case scenario, we just have to, you know, find ourselves a, uh, a lake. And go and sort of, you know, put stuff in the lake. But anyway, it's sweet. Now that we have uh, how the crafting station's mobile, we can just start going. Um, so let's just... Hold on. Let's pull out the logbook. Set a waypoint to the 4 Terra HQ. And let's just get driving there. It doesn't really matter to me that it's nighttime or not. And uh, we're just going to haul our way over there. And hopefully we have the ground clearance to do it. This is actually a pretty sweet platform for a truck, to be honest. I kind of I kind of like the size of it. So at some point in time, we might have to move the crafting station to a base and turn this into like some sort of a work truck. Maybe put actual suspension on it and probably power it with a piston engine because, like, you know... We gotta just not have gas vehicles and just piston vehicles everywhere. All right, we gotta get these crates out. Uh, people told me to check the banana crate too because there's always stuff in behind it. Is that is that true? It always oh my god! It literally always spawns a golden chest. Wow. Okay, that is that is amazing. Just gotta always come back to the banana crate and check it. That's pretty cool. All right, let's get these crates. We'll talk to your friends, Bill. I don't really want to. They're just going to tell me that they haven't talked to you yet. Where are... Oh, hello. Hi, Mark. Hey, it's you. What do you need this time? Uh, I don't need anything. Just wanted to know if Bill came to see you guys. Oh, yeah, he did. We talked all night long with him. Really? You guys kicked him out. Like, am I missing something? Didn't you kick him out? He didn't want to stay here in the HQ. He says he likes his house. Yes, of course. Well, he didn't even accept the clothes we gave him. He... he... <laughs> okay. That's interesting. By the way, I still don't know what Bill's job was here at the HQ. He didn't tell you? No, that's why I'm asking. I feel like he knows stuff you guys don't. That's definitely true. He for sure knows some stuff. Well, he was assistant of the boss and the deputy. So Bill was important. Oh yeah, he was. He was in charge a lot of the time. In charge? What do you mean by that? The boss and de deputy usually went somewhere, sometimes to the main headquarters of Four Terra on Itiro. Uh, both the boss and the deputy went and that left Bill in charge. Yeah. But he still hung out with you guys? Of course. We were friends before he got here and got our jobs assigned to us then what was the reason he ran away well that is some classified information and he told us to never tell it to end nobody okay great oh come on is there nobody left on this planet except for us i'm pretty sure you guys are fired well you see bill was let's say closer to the boss and the deputy than us and when he was told to tell us to gather iron either by mining or scavenging he asked them why i don't understand Forterra isn't allowed to mine oh okay 
So Forterra doesn't have a license to mine on the planet. So Bill went out to explore to find a good place to mine. Okay. He found one area and we started mining. And then the boss asked us for more again. So we went out to find another spot to mine. And then we came up with some interesting news to us. He told us he found an entrance and an elevator leading to a mine. Oh, cool. Do they have an under... They definitely have an underground mine in this thing. We have to go to the mines. There's definitely a mine. So Bill then decided to pull a bad prank on Forterra, but since we didn't agree to join him, he never told us what it was. Was the was the prank putting the poison in the vents, Bill? And and yeah, they did a bunch of illegal activity. Uh, so you know, you can't mine on a planet without a mining license. Don't you guys know that? This is like colonization 101. So Bill tried to challenge the boss on the whole mining license thing, and then the boss said Bill was sick. Even though Bill had magically disappeared. I've heard this story before. I know how it is. So it's not really so much his friends abandoned him as the deputy made, uh, probably threatened Bill. And Bill ran away and disappeared so he couldn't be found. And built a house in the middle of a field. The contract we signed says that we can't destroy any Forterra equipment during or after our employment or we will be faced with charges. So let me get this straight. A company abandons you and leaves you on a planet... And you won't break into the filing room because, you know, you're worried about being faced with charges on your contract from after- Bruh. Like, come on, dude. Just, just, listen, just, just break into the cabin. It's fine. We'll hack our way in. So that's interesting. To summarize, it was sort of a lot of text. The, uh, the story in this has a lot of text. But, uh, to summarize, um, you know, Forterra came here and they were mining illegally. And they weren't supposed to mine but they were mining and then Bill went and found a elevator leading to a mine shaft somewhere and uh yeah so we're going to go find that at some point but Bill found an elevator leading to a mine shaft and then one day Bill disappeared and none of these guys knew why um because the bosses were up to some sketchy stuff wonderful wonderful things happening here in the four terror universe uh we're getting attacked by wolves so I'm just going to excuse me they apparently can attack five block stuff. They do wreck the metal. That's interesting. It's annoying, but you know, we outrun them like crazy, so that's fine. Where are the wolves? I gotta run them over. Kind of annoying that you guys wrecked my metal block, because metal block is sort of expensive, but you know, it is what it is. We'll patch that up. Good to know that we're gonna need stronger stuff than metal to deal with wolves. Here you go, dude. Got it. Boom. Done. Give you all the stuff. Thanks. Give me the key card. Perfect. This is for what? Imposter key card. It's for the filing room. Open the door first and then come talk to me. Okay, I, bro I don't know where the filing room is though. Uh, I guess it's probably upstairs, right? Like, I don't- I don't actually remember the filing room. In this, uh, in this building. Oh, deputy or boss room. Deputy's room key card, boss's room key card. Okay. Imposter key card. Uh I inserted it and it didn't do anything. What is this? What does it mean? Yeah. It didn't open, but it looks like the needed information was copied onto the key card. Interesting. Hey Mark, what's up? I need you. It didn't open, but I got some data. I think you could with the data you could open it. Well then give me the key card. Here you go, Mark. It should open this time. Really? Oh my god, really? So he runs off, and then he took my key card. There we go, he dropped it. Archive room key card. Perfect. It's kind of weird. He like, you start the dialogue with him, but he keeps running his path, and then all of a sudden he's like, Oh, I'll drop it way the heck over here. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Here we go. Archive room key card. Boom. Done. Holy cow. Alright, nice. More blueprints. Assembler, metal manufacturer, carpenter block, and chemistry station. Oh my god, do I have to check every one of these? There's no way they put something in one of these, right? Like, that would be just, that would just be cruel. Right? Like, there's no way. They did. They actually did. Deputy's room key card. What? That sucks. Now we have to check all the rest. Oh my god. Oh, that's so bad. Oh, there's another one. Boss's room key card. Oh, VIP room key card. Oh, that was, um, I remember that room. That was in the living quarters on the, on the downstairs part. All right, so nothing else in the filing cabinets. Just these two cards, but that's cool. VIP and deputy room. So let's, uh, deputy room this right away. 
thank you very much. What is in here? Slice of pizza. We got some glue. Okay, let's just check all these filing cabinets too. Might as well, just to make sure. Nothing in them underneath. No. Nothing. Okay. Just make, looking for the boss's room keycard at this point. Okay, we got into the deputy's room, but there's there's like literally nothing here. I don't understand. That's that's a weird one. This this is kind of a mystery to me actually. Is there like a secret switch or something? Like there's got to be something. Why else would this room be locked? It's just like a literally just a room with nothing. What the heck? I'm so confused. Okay. But the VIP quarters, that was in here, right? Off the cap- yeah, right here. VIP, let's go. Nice. Anything? It's look like- okay. Component kits, some milk, perfect. Get free stuff. Literally don't need food in this- in this game, like in this campaign. For the first bit, when you're exploring the HQ, you get so much food. Oh, you got private bathrooms, private showers. Wow. But yeah, you get so much so much food in in this headquarters. It's insane. It's actually kind of insane. Nothing there. Nothing. Just just weird. I don't know what I'm supposed to be looking for. Another private bathroom situation. Okay. There's only four rooms in the VIP quarters. Blue can't take that. Can take the drink. Can take the component kit. It's like a bowl of salad or something nothing nothing can take the water i don't know why i need the water but i'm taking it another bathroom i'm i'm expecting like one of these toilets to actually be a secret hidden compartment you jump on the toilet and it goes down to the ground or something but no component kits oh another key card boss's room key card there we go that's what we're looking for that means we'll have all the rooms oh no there's a piping room that we won't have unlocked interesting okay Spending a lot of episodes just exploring this headquarters, but hey, you know, gotta gotta unlock all the rooms and get all the blueprints really is the big thing because there's all those crafting bot blueprints and stuff that I want to get. And uh, we obviously don't have them all yet, but that's good. Boss's room key card. Go back upstairs, check that out. Boom. Potatoes. Okay, interesting. Fridge with nothing. A radio. Another duck. Can't do anything about it. There's like... Okay, nothing in there. I don't understand. Like, what... The boss's room is like the deputy's room. There's nothing... There's nothing in here. What am I missing? Look around for information. I mean, I guess there's... Oh, there's stuff on the desk. Don't forget to turn off all the hidden red switches in the office cubicles. Oh my... Are you serious? Turn them all off? Oh, god dang it. Or do I have to turn... Does that mean I turn them all on? They were off, though. I started turning them all on. Find all the hidden switches in the office cubicles. Okay. There's six of them. I guess I'll leave this one off. I had turned them all on, I thought. Or are they now all reset? I remember where they all were. I spent all the time doing this. Okay, it wasn't one in there. There was one in here. Uh, Was there? No, wait. Oh my god. Hold on a minute. Am I... Yeah, there's one here. It's off. No, it's on now. Yeah, no, the boss wants you to have them off. This is two. Okay, I got it. We're doing this adventure now. There we go. Two. Uh, there was one in here. Back here. Three. Okay. There was one in this one there. Four. I got a good memory. I'm remembering. Uh, there was one... There wasn't one in here, was there? No. Was there? No. What? There was... There... Uh... No. Yet? Yeah, no. Uh... No. This one? Was there one in here? Oh, shoot. I don't remember now anymore. Hang on a minute. Was it... Yeah, there was one back in there. Yeah, that's right. Five. I think this was... The last one was in here. It was underneath this no there was one in here for sure i remember there being one in here yeah right there right there that's the one boom investigate the boss's room let's go okay okay this is it 
This is it. We're going to activate the bomb. We are going to activate... Oh my god, there's a secret door. Holy cow, what is this? Oh, cool. This is sweet. This is sweet. What is another... Okay. Another floppy disk. Sweet. Gonna insert that into the floppy disk reader. Component kits. Nice. Might as well check all the... Oh my god, more circuits. Okay, we gotta just check every cabinet again. More component kits. This is really... This is really a jackpot place. There's a lot of stuff in here. What is this? Oh, piping room 2 key card. Piping room stairs key card. Nice. I'm gonna have to check that out. Oh my god, there's so much stuff. It's kind of ridiculous. More component kits. Yeah, we're we're actually like loaded now. Oh my god. Okay, well. What's that? That's the piping room key card number two. Piping room stairs key card. Did we get two of them? Okay. We, we're just, we're just, we're loaded now. This is amazing. There's, uh, this is great. Metal 2, some cages, more metal 2. Oh my god. This is, this is the jackpot. Hello. Thank you very much. I will take these component kits. Yes, please. Oh, sure. Honeycomb, why not? More component kits? Yeah. Another floppy disk? No idea what's on that, but that's okay. Oh my god, and there's a workbench here, can't do anything with that. More blueprints, yes please. Large satellite, dish, antenna, reflector antenna, oh yeah. This is the stuff. Check all these, of course. Yeah, oh my god, I'm so stoked about this. This is amazing. This is actually amazing. This is a, wait, this is a floppy disk reader right here. Hold on a minute, let's just plug this in. Wait, no, I can't use it. Gotta use mine. Alright, well, that was the jackpot. That is... That is the jackpot that just, just amazing. Okay, well that's, I think that's everything in the HQ, right? Like that's gotta be the whole HQ. What do you have to say, Mark? No, literally nothing. Let me, like, I know the key card is working. Why are you here then? Yeah, no, I already, I already investigated the boss's room. Wait, I'm, what else am I supposed to investigate? It still says investigate the boss's room. What am I, what am I missing? Was there something in here I missed? Oh, another key, ca another thing. Read the contents of all three floppy disks. Okay. Well, we're gonna have to go back uh, to to base here, I think, and uh, and deposit some stuff. Well, actually, not back to base. We gotta we gotta deliver Bob his his crates. So we're gonna go do that. Let's let's go. That was the original point of this whole episode. I got sidetracked with the whole story campaign. We'll come back here another time. We'll read the three floppy disks and come back. And of course, we'll use these two key cards on the piping room. We're just we're just full on inventory. That was the jackpot of all jackpots. I have so much material now. 193 metal one, 41 metal two. Like that's just great. How strong is metal two? Durability of seven. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna wrap the vehicle in metal two. Unbelievable. That was that was a crazy good haul. I can't believe how good that was. There was so much stuff there. In that one room. That was amazing. Just kind of literally just wasting these berries. I think I probably have space in the other one. But whatever. It doesn't matter. These these give you like like two food each. And you just forage them from the uh, from the woods. So it's not exactly worth anything. Let's just put the floppy disk reader there. Let's insert. We got three disks. Let's put in one. It's going to read that. Don't know what it's going to tell me. Uh, what can we deposit in here? All the other stuff. Wow, we're, we're, we're loaded on materials now. This is great. All right, we're going to take some metal. And I'm just going to build up a little structure. All right, done. Just build up like a roof rack, essentially. Put a couple of, uh, a couple of slats here. Just like this. Done. Excellent. It's a nice little roof rack. I don't think that'll be too top heavy. I think most of the weights with the, uh, the crafting stations anyway... Uh, we read one of the floppy disks. Read the contents of all three. Okay, what did the first one say? Information partially corrupted. The coordinates of something. Oh, this is L E L. It's definitely the elevator shaft to the mine. I bet you E L something. All right, that's cool. So we got coordinates of that. We're gonna insert this floppy disk as well. But we are gonna head back to Bills. Let's. Uh, oh, this is gonna make us top heavy. But anyway, it doesn't matter. There we go. Let's put a crate up there. Grab the other one. Perfect. This is this is great. This is awesome now though. Now we're now we're trucking 100%. All right. 
that floppy disk red as well. More logs. Good evening, Mr. Martin. As you know, we're here to discuss the resources that were promised. Oh, okay, this is some sketchy guy. Yes, good evening, gentlemen. Yes, I'm very sorry for lack of functionality on our promises. We've been difficult. We've been having some technical difficulties. What are these technical difficulties? All right, I, I like. I'm pretty sure this is the sketchy mind deal. We'll read more of that later. I'm not really too worried right now. Right now, we gotta head to Mills. These are we got we got priorities here, people. We gotta deliver these crates. It's important. Uh, do I have gas? I do. Let's put some gas in this. Yeah, it was empty. Okay, and let's head on back. Had enough story for today, dealing with uh, unlocking the boss's room. And surprise, surprise, Forterra is a corrupt company that was trying to exploit the natural resources of the planet. I'm, I'm, I'm really shocked. I have a feeling they like cracked open the mine and then found like some super crazy robot or whatever that was, you know, sealed up in the mines for generations. And that's actually part of the problem. Not exactly sure. Seems like, you know, Bill found the, uh, the abandoned mineshaft or whatever, the elevator mineshaft. That's a bear. Just a, there's just a casual bear chasing us now. Yeah, I'm just, there's multiple bears. Yeah, there are multiple bears and wolves. There are a lot of wolves and bears. Okay, we're just gonna, we're just not gonna stop driving. You know, it's kind of interesting exploring scrap mechanic with no roads. When you have roads, you sort of figure out these like paths to take and you generally like, find the closest road to where you want to go but without them I find myself always sort of taking different ways to get to and from destinations and eventually I'll you know you'll figure out paths that are sort of the best way to go but uh, right now I'm just sort of driving all over the place anyway we're back at Bill's very successful mission gonna just drop off the crates for Bill which I'm assuming we just put here and uh, where are you Bill Hey, Bill, what's up? You're welcome. You can always count on me. What'd you give me? You gave me broccoli seeds and banana seeds. All right, thanks, Bill. Seems like a successful mission for today. We got some logs to read when we first get on. We got to read these logs and see what's up with Mr. Martin and the sketchiness. Uh, you know, so far, the synopsis is that, uh, you know, Bill left because Bill was the assistant to the bosses. And the bosses were doing some illegal mining on the planet. And Bill found himself an elevator mineshaft. And then the bosses left the planet and left these three plus Bill behind. So, not exactly sure what's happening. I have a feeling that this is going to be coordinates to an elevator. But uh, we're obviously, we're going to read these logs. And then we're going to go back and talk to some guys at the HQ. And then we're going to open up some pipe doors and uh, check that out. And see what's up with that. And, uh, and then we got to build ourselves a base. Got this nice little truck. It's doing great, but we're going to need a base as well to actually do some stuff. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Make sure, of course, you hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and we'll see you all next time.